Now, you had your annual investor letter, and in it you talked about three things in particular that you were concerned about. One was Brexit, uh, one was the U.S.-China and European-U.S. Uh, trade relationships, and the third was Italy. Why did you pick Italy as a major issue of concern? So Italy is, is the highest risk of being the next Greece in Europe. And we're in this, this very unusual moment in time with this, this idea of was it, modern monetary theory, which is just ridiculous, that countries can run large deficits with no consequences. Everyone seems to forget the story of what happened in Greece just, just a few years ago, which absolutely devastated their economy. And Italy, the combination of a, a rapidly aging population, very, very poor policies with respect to the labor market and growth is creating a debt dynamic that's unsustainable. There was real trepidation last year in the market that Italy could potentially default. In, in fact, the incoming Italian political party floated the idea of a write-down of part of their outstanding debt, and it, it completely spooked the financial markets in Europe and, and globally. So the, the issue with Italy is they still run too large of a deficit, and they're not pursuing economic policies that will bring their young members of the workforce into the labor market. Well, let's talk about Brexit. Um, are you worried that there will be a real um, calamity in England and really in Europe if there is not a successful Brexit or if there is a Brexit at all? Hard, okay, so here's at 100,000 feet, the single biggest problem gripping the UK is indecision. If the UK leaves with a hard Brexit, it will come with it a set of challenges. If they go to a second referendum and stay in the EU, then we have an idea what that will look like. But until they pick a path, it deters capital investment. People aren't building the new factory. They're not building the new office building. They're not creating jobs in the UK. Politicians don't appreciate when they create uncertainty, it kills. It kills the willingness of companies to invest. 